Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for being so patient. Um, I know I haven't posted, it's been two weeks, but I am back now and I'm bringing you guys a pick a card reading and this is going to be love messages from your person to you at this very moment, what they wanna to say to you. So it is geared towards romantic connections and really quick guys thank you guys so so much for subscribing um i am my next goal is to reach 3,000 subscribers so if you haven't already go ahead and hit the button and also i am having a sale a flash sale for this weekend for the holiday so if you are interested in a personal reading check out my etsy link below and that's all I have for you guys right now. So let's jump right into the reading. So pile one is going to be the Lapis Lazuli Crystal or the Modern Witch Tarot Deck. Pile two is the Unicorn Tarot Deck or the Moonstone Crystal. And pile three is the Phosphorodite or the um, Light Sears Tarot Deck. So go ahead and again, pick whichever one you are intuitively drawn to. Remember that these are general, but if you would like a personal reading, follow my Etsy link below and timestamps will be below guys. And I will see you guys at your pal. Hello, pal one. If you chose the Lapis Lazuli Crystal or the Modern Witch Tarot deck, this is gonna be your reading. All right, you guys. So love messages from your person to you. Let's find out for pal number one spirit, what does their person want to say to the person that is watching? Let's go ahead. Pal number one spirit, what does their person? Okay, we have the nine of cups coming out right away. What does their person want to say? Love messages for pal one spirit. What does Pal One's person want to say? Okay, we have the Eight of Wands. Well, they definitely want to communicate something, and I think that there is a strong presence here of them wanting something to happen. And we have, look at that, you guys, we have the Six of Pentacles. Beautiful, pile number one. Can you guys see that? And we have the sun card sticking out at the bottom of the deck. I love it, pile number one. So before we look at these cards, um, let's just take a look at what we have here. So <clears throat> there seems to be definitely a lot of happiness and positivity radi radiating from pile number one. So I'm feeling like this is almost um, probably most likely a newer connection that you are maybe asking about because we have cards that are indicating feeling excited with the eight of wands um, and the sun card coming out you know there's just this energy of i don't know brand new fresh new energy is kind of beaming through for pal number one so that is what i'm feeling um with the nine of cups this is um kind of like the wish fulfillment card i feel like this person is what they would say to you is that maybe you are someone that they had always wished for you are someone that they have always wanted um with the six of pentacles i am also hearing that you are someone that they definitely see as an equal person in their life um and if you look at this six of pentacles pal number one we have you know a person here exchanging gifts and i almost feel like this person feels like they might be telling themselves or just saying to themselves like this is the type of person that i feel like i would want to give to um, your person whoever this is has they're very sweet on you is what i'm hearing from spirit so let's just get um clarify the eight of wands here spirit for pal one what does this person want to say to pal one because the Eight of Wands is about fast communication. So they definitely want to come in with something. We have, see, we have more Wands energy. We have Five of Wands. Clarify the Eight of Wands. 
the chariot. Let's get one more. Pal one spirit. Clarify the eight. Thank you. Wow, look at that. We have the queen of wands. So someone might be a fire sign. You don't have to be. But I feel like... Yeah, what I'm hearing from spirit, this person... Um, I think for some reason they are having trouble trying to make a decision here. I think that they would maybe, yeah, if this is a newer connection, this person sees you as someone very, very attractive with the Queen of Wands. You're coming through as, you know, this energy that is very confident, you know, there's something about you that just really radiates here with the Sun card. And I feel like your person would want to tell you that... I, I feel like they would want to compliment you actually on the way you look, you know, to tell you that they really like um, the way that you look like you like you really there's a spark. I'm sorry. <laughs> there's like a spark between the two of you guys that this person um, would maybe want to tell you. And for some reason, this person has doubts that maybe you like them equally or are interested in them just as they are interested in you. But there's definitely a desire here to communicate. This person, I think, really wants to give to this connection. And with the chariot card, they wanna move things, or they feel like they wanna move things in the, in the right direction with you and this person. So let's go ahead and get um, the other cards here. These are the cards that I pulled out. And let's go ahead and see what your person would want to say. Yes, look at that, you guys. I have not seen these cards yet. Euph euphoria, chasing thrills, joy, laughter. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I said earlier, there's definitely some sort of spark or new energy coming from pile number one. This person is excited. They are wanting to chase after you with the chariot card. Um, you know, there's just this energy of them feeling like a kid again, you know, or just feeling like there's a part of them that has, that you have kind of sparked inside of them, like this light, um, you know what I mean, pal number one. <laughs> um, I'm just kind of at a loss for words because I just, I can feel this person's excitement, you know, and it's coming through and there it is. And we also have a lot of wands coming out. So definitely an energy of feeling very happy, feeling very much in love, feeling very um, focused on you. Let's go ahead and see what else we have for pal one, your person. Okay, we have time out, awareness, contemplation, solitude, time alone. So like I was getting earlier, pal number one, with the five of wands in the chariot card, I do feel like your person is, again, unsure if maybe you are feeling the same way for them as they are for you. So I am getting this kind of back and forth energy where I feel like sometimes they, they just want to go for it with the Eight of Wands here. And then there's other times where they kind of hold themselves back. And I am seeing kind of a battle within themselves. That is actually what I heard when I saw this card come out. And I didn't say it, and now I am. So I, I almost feel like this person is um, maybe not sure about your feelings for them, but they are definitely very, very much excited about the thought of you and the potential of where this can go. So let's go ahead and see this card here. This has an actual message from your person to you. <laughs> see? Look at that, pal one. I'm feeling lost and I don't know what to do about it. Mm -hmm. Which way to go? They are unsure of, you know, how to move this forward. I think for a lot of you guys, you know, this is someone that maybe you had just met briefly or I don't know, something about in passing. I don't feel like this is someone that maybe you have known for a really long time. So there is this energy of this person, again, trying to figure out and trying to make a decision about um, how to move things forward. I think that they would want to tell you that they have cold feet. I think this person would also want to tell you that they are struggling with how they're feeling inside um, because they don't know how you feel. They would also want to tell you that you are someone that really excites them, that you, um, you're 
energy, your positivity and your confidence really draws them in here. And they would want to say you are someone that they have always wished for. So let's go ahead. I want to get one more card here and to get last words from Pal One's person to the person that's watching Spirit, what would they say? There you go. We have all there is to love has been there all along. Beautiful. We also have don't be misled. Yeah. So if you guys are feeling like this person isn't interested, I feel like it is complete opposite from the cards that we are getting. So maybe if you had doubted this person is maybe interested and you wanted to know maybe what they would say, that is kind of what I'm getting from this message. And I feel like this person would want to tell you that they, they feel like you are, um, you could be it for them. That is what I'm getting really strongly from this card here. So pile number one, that is absolutely beautiful. Um, that was your reading, you guys. I hope it resonates. Let me know in the comments below. Again, give it a like, share, subscribe. Help me get to 3,000 subscribers. I'm almost there. And if you would like a personal reading, I am having a flash sale. Follow my Etsy link below. And as always, guys, sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello, pal two. If you chose the moonstone crystal, so pretty, I love it. This is gonna be your reading. All right, so like I said in the beginning, this is geared towards a romantic connection. So let's go ahead, pal number two spirit. What does their person want to say to the person that is watching? What are their messages for pal two's person spirit? What do they want to say? Oops, that one fell. What does pile... Okay, that's interesting. We had the Eight of Wands come out for pile one. Let's see what we have here. We have the Queen of Wands. So did the Queen of Wands in pile one. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, oh, look at that, Eight of Cups. So. Right away, pile number two, I am getting a very strong message that this is probably most likely a situation where there are three people involved. Um, with the Eight of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, we're automatically, I have energies of someone needing to walk away from another situation in order to maybe move things forward with you. So um, the first thing that I'm getting from your person is that they would wanna tell you that they know that they need to make a decision here, that they know that it's not going to be easy for the two of you guys to maybe come together. But I feel like this person is willing to make that 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 jump, to make that leap of faith here with the Eight of Cups. And I do feel like this person wants to travel towards you, um, especially with the Eight of Wands here. I think they would definitely want to tell you that they are making plans or at least trying to plan their next move. So let's go ahead and get oops, some more cards here for Pile 2 Spirit. What would their person want to say? Yeah, we have another eight. Exactly, with the Eight of Pentacles, your person is definitely making plans. I think they are working at coming up with some sort of plan, um, trying to make sure that this transition is as smooth as it can be for all parties involved is what i'm hearing what does pile that's too many choose person want to say to the person that is watching spirit i also feel like this person sees a lot of stability in you um pile number one i just heard that from spirit yeah look at that we have five of cups Oh, two. Yeah, see, another five, five of swords. And we have the temperance card. Look at this, you guys, this is good. We have the temperance. We also have the lovers, mm -hmm. needing to make a decision here like I was picking up on in the beginning. So the lovers can be about making a decision and we also have the high priestess here. So 
Sometimes when I see this card and I see these two pillars, I think of needing to make a choice, um, needing to make a decision here. I'm seeing it all over your reading. So I feel like there is this overall energy that this person would want to tell you that yes, they know that they have to um, choose. They know that at, you know it's going to break someone's heart, but they are willing to go after. You see that? They're willing to go after those two of cups in this card you know they're willing to walk away with the eight of cups to go towards happiness which i feel like it's with you with the lovers and the temperance card this person feels very much in sync with you and you know it's again with the five of wands they know that it's not going to be easy that maybe this whole journey with you and maybe meeting you hasn't been easy but you know, with this, look at this. That's interesting. As I talk about journey, we have a path here. I think that they know that this path has been kind of um, lots of twists and turns. Maybe the way that you met this person is um, feels like it's faded with the temperance card. And they definitely feel like the two of you guys are meant to be together. Um, but again, there is a decision that they are trying to make that they are trying to actively work at with the eight of pentacles here. They're also trying to be um, level-headed about it. Very, um, They're trying to ground themselves. I think that this person is, although I do feel like it might be chaotic for them, I think that they are handling it very well is what they would want to tell you. So let's go ahead and see what my other cards reveal for Pile 2. We have Yamaya, Grandmother, Ocean, Primordial interesting what else do we have can you guys see that and we have time weight cycles infinity yeah so there is this um energy again that this person would maybe want to tell you that this might take some more some more time and maybe you are not wanting to wait or um, maybe you know you are tired of waiting and that they know that you are maybe tired of waiting but this person um, definitely sees potential in you and they they don't want you to give up on them is what I'm hearing from spirit they definitely want you to and I don't, you know, recommend holding on or waiting for someone. Um, but for some reason, I'm hearing this person doesn't want you to let go of them. Um, you know, this is an interesting card. I feel like this is someone's grandma coming through. Clarify the Yamaya card, Spirit. Pile 2. We have the King of Pentacles. What is this about, Yamaya? Clarify this grandmother card. The Knight of Cups. Let's get one more card for the Yamaya spirit. What is this about? We have the Four of Cups. Um, for some reason, I don't know if this is going to resonate with someone out there, but this grant, this um, spirit energy wanted to come out, and I feel like it doesn't really have anything to do about this person's feelings. This is someone's grandmother coming out in this reading, and I think this person, whoever this resonates for, um, they want to tell you that they're here supporting you with the King of Pentacles. I think that they would also want to tell you that they are sending you love from afar here with the Knight of Cups and literally offering, giving this cup of love to you. Um, for those of you guys that have been feeling maybe lonesome or withdrawn or feeling like there is no love for you out there, whoever's grandma is definitely with you and they are sending love from afar um, and they wanted you to know that. I'm sorry that's so that has nothing to do with that, but for whoever needed to hear that, there it is. I am getting it very strongly here. Um, a grandmother or a mother spirit, okay? so. Whoever that resonates for, that is for you. Let's go ahead, get back to the reading, pal two. Okay, it says, I kept up a facade, 
a facade, sorry, <laughs> to the world, but you always saw past that into my soul. Yes. So this person is, they know that you know that there is so much more to this connection than meets the eye. Again, with the temperance card and the lover's card, there is this unspoken um, chemistry that the two of you guys have and this person would want to tell you that they know that you feel it too they know that you feel this pull this draw towards them and that they um, again they're not in denial about this connection for some of you that needed to know that they are definitely very much aware and they don't want to miss out on this you know the love of their life is what I'm hearing so let's go ahead and get one more card for you guys. Pile two, what is their message to the person that's watching? Okay, that is not a message. That's just about the author. Pile two, there we go. Aha, uh -huh. look at that, you guys. I am not surprised to see this. Love is the reason. So they, again, want you to know that they're willing to make this work because because of love, because this is true love, because they see so much potential in this connection. And again, they just, they don't want it to slip by. So pile number two, that was your reading, you guys. I hope this resonates. I hope whoever this message was for, let me know in the comments below. I am very curious. Uh, give it a like, share, subscribe. Help me get to 3000 subscribers, guys. I'm almost there. And if you would like a personal reading, I am having a flash sale this weekend. Go ahead, follow the Etsy link below. As always, guys, I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello, pal three. If you chose the Phosphorodite Crystal or the Light Sears Tarot deck, this is gonna be your reading. So let's go ahead and shuffle this. Look at that. We have the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Look, that is really beautiful. Pile three's person, spirit, whoever they are thinking of, what does their person want to say to them at this moment? Let's go ahead and see. Pile three's person, what are their messages for the person that is watching? That wanted to come out. Pile three, what is their message? There we go. All right, let's take a look. We have the three of cups. Beautiful. We have the Six of Cups. Wow. And we have the Five of Cups, you guys. Bottom of the deck is, oh my gosh, the Ace of Cups. Wow. Okay, pile three. Definitely a lot of emotions are running high with this pile um, that's coming through right away. We have all water cards. Um, so you or this person might be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Again, you don't have to be, but it's very, very much present. Um, for a lot of you guys, this could be a friend that you've known for a very long time, a very dear friend that has maybe recently realized that they want to be with you. Um, I think this person would want to tell you you know, your friend or whoever this is, this connection would want to tell you that they want um, a fresh new start with you with the Ace of Cups. And I feel like this person is willing to wait for as long as they need to in order for that to happen. So I'm staring at this Five of Cups. I want to see what this person is maybe sad about. Can clarify the Five of Cups here because it's a very sad card amongst all these happy cards. Okay, look at that. We have the devil. Definitely some negative thinking here going on for this person. We have the strength card. Yeah, and um, you know what? I feel like this person has maybe had some sort of recent clarity or maybe they have given you some sort of recent clarity and I don't know if maybe you um, not rejected them but maybe just you weren't really sure about how you feel about them and so that's why there is this sadness here that this person is feeling this person is feeling um again negative thoughts with the devil card it's very present here um 
I also feel like with this card, this person has maybe gained some insight about maybe the way you are feeling or they're feeling like you just don't love them like they love you is what I'm hearing here from spirit. That's so interesting, you guys. Yeah, this person wants a, um, a renewal with you. They want to build a future with you. Um, they see you as, you know, their best friend here. I have that with this card here, you know, like man's best friend and growing old together. This person definitely wants something very stable with you. It's in their heart. In their heart, they want to be with you is what I'm getting here. But there is this insight that they've gotten recently where they feel like they have all these negative thoughts where maybe um, you don't feel the same way as them. So that's kind of what I'm getting here. Let's go ahead and see the other channeled messages from your person to you. Yeah, see? Depth. Awareness, complexity, importance. Again, there has been some sort of um, truth in this connection that this person has maybe revealed or maybe they had some truth from you. I think this person would want to tell you that their feelings for you are not just surface level, that they are very much invested. They're very deep. They go deeper than maybe the ocean is kind of what I'm hearing from spirit. It's not easy for them to feel this way. It's very complex. And um, they're very much aware that they have a lot of loving feelings for you, but they're just not sure about how you feel. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, we have card 33, experiments. Manipulation of nature, forcing change, cruelty in the pursuit of knowledge or arrogance. So this I feel like it has a lot to do with this devil card where I feel like this person is maybe more consumed with like negative thoughts like they are seeing this I don't know dark cloud over them for some reason they just can't get it out of their head that um, this isn't going to work they're really worried or afraid that maybe it wouldn't work I think that they would want to tell you that they're afraid that maybe things wouldn't work out and then it would ruin the friendship that the two of you guys share. Um, and that's kind of what I'm getting from this card. This card actually creeps me out. <laughs> I don't know. It's like scary, but it makes sense here with the devil card. I think it's more so that they would want to maybe tell you that they're, oh, that's what I'm getting. I just heard it from spirit. Thank you. They want with the experiments card, they want to test this out. They want to see where it could go. And they feel like you guys are never going to know unless you try it out which is why we have experiments. Thank you, Spirit, that was so clear. Let's go ahead and see what else they'd wanna say. Okay, it says, it's easier being with someone from my world. Yes, so again, the two of you guys probably have known each other for a really long time. This person sees you as someone that is oh, has always been a part of their life, has always been in their life, and you know they see you as, um, you know, the person that they want to spend the rest of their life with is kind of what I'm getting here. But you guys aren't going to know what is going to happen unless you try. So for those of you guys that are watching that have maybe been afraid to, to change what you guys have now, your friendship, I feel like this person is really, really consumed over the fact that they really want this to work. You know, they want you to give them a try. Um, I'm sorry, a chance. So let's get one more message. Pal 3 Spirit, what would they say to the person that is watching? Okay, I think this is the one that came out because it makes sense. Convince yourself, not others. Yeah, this person I feel like would want to tell you that, again, there is a lot of hope that they see in this connection. There is this energy of them hoping that you will maybe change your mind about um, giving them a chance, giving this relationship a shot. Let's get one more card. <laughs> yes, things are about to get really juicy. Yes. So I think this person is very much excited that um, I feel like they are very hopeful about this connection. And I also feel like something very exciting is going to happen between the two of you guys in the near future. So 
Pile number three, that was your reading. Those were the messages from your person. Let me know if it resonates in the comments below. Give it a like, share, subscribe. Help me get to 3,000 subscribers, guys. I'm almost there. Um, thank you guys so much. If you are interested in a personal reading, follow my Etsy link below. I am having a flash sale this weekend. Check it out. And as always, guys, I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care.